At about a year and a half old, the Amazon Echo is a device that went from having people scratching their heads in terms of what it was meant for, to recently becoming one of the must-have gadgets for your home. Inside the box, you have the Echo itself, power adapter, and a quick start guide for initial setup and a few basic commands you can try out to get familiar with controlling your device. On top, you have the action button, mute button, and a seven microphone array. The top also serves as a ring you turn to adjust your volume level. Echo's minimalist cylindrical design and matte black finish help it to fit in with just about any room's decor, which is great because the Echo is a fantastic speaker for pumping out some tunes. You can link Echo with just about any streaming music service for playback, and with the 360 degree speaker system, the Echo can easily fill a room with sound. But just be aware that at the louder volumes, the low ends definitely drop out, and the Echo can't compete with other standalone speaker systems like Sonos. The brain of Echo is Alexa, Amazon's equivalent to Apple's Siri, a voice activated assistant. Now while I'm admittedly an Apple fanboy, I have no problem in telling you that Alexa kicks Siri's ass all day long. Aside from setting timers and reminders, asking for the weather and traffic information, Alexa can do so much more. Not only is she much more reliable to providing answers to general knowledge questions like who won a certain Academy Award, or giving background information on a popular YouTuber, within the Alexa app on your smart device, you can configure Alexa to do everything from ordering your favorite pizza, requesting an Uber ride, or picking up where you left off in your most recent Audible audiobook. In terms of speech recognition, Alexa is pretty fantastic, rarely ever having me repeat myself or misunderstanding what I was trying to say. But while all these features are great and may be enough to justify the purchase price for a lot of you, it wasn't until Alexa became a controller for my smart home platforms that I finally jumped on board. With tie-ins to a lot of major smart home players like Philips Hue, Nest, and Samsung SmartThings, Alexa is the piece to my smart home setup I've been missing. Now, with using just my voice, I can tell her to lower my thermostat's temperature Alexa, set downstairs to 72 degrees. Setting downstairs AC to 72. And also control groups or individual lights in my home depending on how I have things set up. Alexa, turn on the living room lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off the living room big lamp. Okay. Now while Siri and Apple's HomeKit do have some similar capabilities, not having to pull my phone out of my pocket or be anywhere near it for that matter, makes the smart home experience with Echo just seem a lot, well, smarter. And it's a lot more fun. I've had my Echo for about two weeks now, and between simply asking it to play my favorite music, getting my morning news, weather, and sports scores, and controlling my home, Amazon has definitely made me a believer in the Echo platform, and I think Alexa will make a great new member to any family.